Lesson five, do your homework. Once your ambition is set, do your homework. I choose to treat the work I do as sacred ground. In that sense, I choose to honor my work and those around me by endeavoring to be the best possible contributor that I can be in every situation. By and large, I've discovered, believe it or not, that most of these situations are not new. In fact, they are all situations that have been dealt with in one way or another hundreds if not thousands of times before in other work environments and other settings. I guarantee you that there is a book, an article, or a person that can materially help you sort through any issue or opportunity you face in the workplace. I encourage each of you to cultivate the habit of studying your craft, corporate or otherwise, beyond the four walls of your specific work experience. It will make you a better contributor and make your work infinitely more interesting. Over the years, I've become a real student of my craft. I try to read two to four papers a day. I read dozens and dozens of books and hundreds of articles every year in the broad category of wisdom literature as it relates to business and leadership. I attend several seminars every year to expand my thinking and keep myself sharp. And despite the demands of my job, that's just the beginning. I share all this with you not to impress you with my efforts, but to impress upon you the opportunity that you have to do the same things, despite the demands of your situation. When I became CEO of Campbell back in January of 2001, I had never been a CEO before. But I had studied on my own leading business thinkers like Peter Drucker, Stephen Covey, Jim Collins, Ram Sharan, Warren Bennis, John Cotter, Deborah Benton, Meg Wheatley, and many more on business leadership. I had studied the CEO leadership traits of many people like Jack Welch of GE and Lou Gerstner of IBM. I believe that great contributors can be born, but they are most certainly made. Becoming a successful contributor is a challenging endeavor. Just like everything else in life, it takes hard work. Last year, I read a book by Jeff Colvin that takes this notion to a compellingly higher level. In his book, Talent is Overrated, he makes a very convincing case that the key to success in any focus or endeavor is what he calls deliberate practice. Put another way, he refers to a lifelong period of deliberate effort to improve performance. A few years ago, I read an article which further drove home this point to me. The article was about General George S. Patton, the legendary battlefield commander of the American forces in Europe in World War II. In his words, he considered himself a terminal student. For example, he studied the writings of the German general and his arch enemy, General Erwin Rommel, when almost no other American general did so. On this subject, Patton liked to quote Napoleon, another person he studied obsessively. The only right way of learning the science of war is to read and reread the campaigns of the great generals. I would assert that the same principle holds true in some way or form for each of us in our work life. So treat your work as your craft and your craft as sacred ground. Honor yourself and those around you, work hard, and do your homework.